What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Stephanie, and welcome to another episode of The Good, The Bad, and The Trendy, the show where we try out new, strange, and innovative products. Today, we are testing out the four brand new Fenty Beauty Stunna Lip Paints. These are their long wear fluid lip colors. The original OG Red came out, and it immediately took its position in my top two liquid blue-red lipsticks right next to the NARS Power Matte. So look at this packaging, by the way. Fenty always kills it with the PR packaging. It's like actually magnetic. How cool is that? And then you take it off. There's these little cones, and under each little magnetic cone are the lip colors. So we got the four new ones here and I have not tried any of these out yet. So before we get into it, if you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe below, come join the sisterhood, no matter your true pronoun or gender identity, come join the family. All right, let's get started. Also, just really quick announcement, my favorites were supposed to come out, you know, two days before this video, but they will be coming out on Sunday, so two days after. I did film it, but I filmed it um, right around the Kavanaugh stuff and I was just not in a good headspace. I just watched back that footage and there's like literally nothing behind my eyes. I don't even think I realized what I was saying. I just wasn't mentally there and I forgot to say a bunch of stuff. Um, so I'm just deciding to refilm. I'm gonna refilm it and get it out to y'all ASAP. Just wanna let y'all know. I was very upset, uh, clearly am still very upset. I really don't wanna get into it right now because I don't wanna get super emotional, but um, you know, filming things like this, trying out new products, this is what makes me happy. I'm sure a lot of y'all come to my videos to maybe have a little bit of an escape. Uh, this is kind of my escape as well. I mentally wasn't there when I was filming my favorites, but yeah, I really enjoy doing this. This makes me happy, so I'm glad to be doing this right now. Just know that, uh, I'm here for y'all, and I'm sure a lot of y'all are here to feel a little bit better, so I wanna give that to you. So let's start off with the very first color here. We got Unbutton, which is a warm, light brown. Like I said, I haven't tried out any of these colors. I was waiting for the day that these would come out. By the way, on my lips, I have the Bite Beauty Agave Lip Mask. When it comes to liquid lipsticks, I like to make sure that my lips are nice and prepped and moisturized, so. I have it on my lips and I kinda just blot it on the back of my hand a little bit. Okay, let me apply. All right, so first thoughts on Unbutton is that it started off a little bit light for me, but I think that it actually dries down darker than how it starts off. And I don't think it's because of my lip color underneath. I was a little bit worried at first. It is definitely a little bit lighter of a color than I am used to wearing as like a neutral or a daily kind of look for me. But now I'm looking at more and more, I'm like, I'm kind of feeling it. It was not the most opaque color right away. I did two layers, so I did one layer, I let it dry a little bit, and then I did another layer, and then it covered uh, my lip color. My lip color was definitely shining through upon uh, the first application. I also think that this is a lip color, personally, that I could really benefit um, from a lip liner. So if I did a little bit of a darker lip liner all around and did this one more in the center area of my lips, I think it would look a lot better, because right now it's kind of looking a little bit washed. I am feeling it more than I thought I would. Next up, we got Uncuff. This is like a dusty rose kind of pink color. I'm not the best at describing colors, but I feel like that's a pretty good description of this one. Okay, let's get into it. Again, I don't know if I'm going crazy, but I feel like this dries down much darker than when it is in liquid form. What do y'all think? I don't know if you can really tell from the bottle, but it looks a lot darker than when it started off for me, but I like this color. This is definitely right up my alley. It's like a cooler, darker shade of my own lip color, I feel like, maybe? To me, more opaque than the previous color, but also it is a darker color, so you can't really tell my lip color you know, shining through it all. I just did one coat of this. This is literally one easy coat. It went on very, very smoothly. That's the thing about this formula is that it's liquidy, 
but once you get it on, it stays on and it is quite a smooth application. And I really enjoy their applicator. I'm sure y'all have seen it, but it is like this little circle guy and it just makes going around all the corners and everything really nice. Like when I do the bottom lip, I kind of swipe. I, I kind of like move my own head with it. Um, and it just makes all the edges really nice. So I really like this color. So it's definitely one I'm gonna be going back to. I bumped up the ISO by one notch. I hope it's not too bright. But here we have the next lip paint in Unveil, just a classic brown. Damn, I feel like a boss in this. I know it's still wet, it's still drying down, but for some reason, wow, also my teeth look really white. <laughs> uh, this color, for some reason, as it's glossy, really reminds me of Griselda. I'm sure a lot of you know her. Uh, she's incredibly beautiful, and I always notice when she wears colors like these, because she just like, it's like, she looks so amazing in every single color, but I feel like I really love her in browns, and well, I'm just channeling her right now. She's so amazing, I love her. But anyways, um, yeah, this was literally one swipe once again. I'm letting it dry down. The thing about these liquid lipsticks, because they're so liquidy, uh, if you tend to kind of smush your lips together, they can transfer a little bit. But once you just kind of let it do its thing and dry down, you're set. Okay, see, there we go. I did smush my lips together a little bit too soon, so it didn't dry all the way. That's the one thing about these very liquidy lipsticks um, that you can see there's a little bit of separation there. If you just let it dry, it'll be a-okay in just a little bit. That's definitely one of my tips with these liquid lipsticks is that if you just let it dry, don't put your lips together, um, it'll be fine after that. All right, y'all, last one and probably the most intimidating one for anybody out there and that is this black liquid lipstick. They got a whole other black cap for it and it is called Uninvited. So let's just toss this on. This lipstick definitely came at the right time. Could maybe add to one of my looks. Ooh, oh my God, okay. Okay, here we are with fully applied, uninvited. It's a look for sure. For some reason, I don't know, maybe it's just because it's still drying down, but it almost looks like green, bluish green to me. But maybe it's just because in my mind, like my hair is very near black, but it's not really, it's like brownish black. It definitely took a couple layers of application. I will be honest, I don't mind that in terms of a very dark lip color. I'm totally down with doing a very thin layer of application at first, you know, to like set, you know, a, I don't know, like prime it, and then another layer to come in because now it is very opaque. For a black lipstick, it went on quite seamlessly. Um, it applied just like any of the other lip paints. Let me know your thoughts on this color right here. I think what I'm gonna do with this, like to make it more wearable for me, uh, I might do like a really dark burgundy gloss on top and see how that looks. I think that would be really pretty, but currently like, you know, it's been a few minutes since application. I can definitely feel it drying down. I think it's becoming more and more matte. I don't mind the look. I think it looks pretty cool. Kind of spooky. All right, y'all, that is all four of the new Stunna lip paints. What do you think? Let me know which one is your favorite down below. This black is really, it's really growing on me. I think, man, I really can't choose a favorite because I really do like all these colors. I think, you know, these two middle colors, definitely the most wearable personally. I wanna try out the lightest color with a lip liner. And like I said, definitely wanna try this one you know, I could do it solo for sure. It's just something I have to get used to. But also I think with like a glossy burgundy on top, it's gonna be really pretty. Let me know which one is your favorite in the comments down below. I'm so excited that they start coming out with new colors. I really hope that they just come out with a bunch more. I really like the formula of this product. It's super long lasting, comfortable to wear. Fenty could just really do no wrong. I'm, I'm obviously <laughs> really obsessed. 
All right, y'all, thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it and haven't yet, please make sure to subscribe below. I love y'all so much, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.